Okay, in this video, I want to introduce you to another type of graph transformation, which are known as stretches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a specific example to start off with. Let's look at the graph of y is equal to x plus 1, x plus 2. Okay? So, this curve is a parabola, okay? Um, which is going through 2, uh, minus 1, and minus 2. Okay? So it looks something like this. So there's a few other things um, that I want to make sure that we identify. So that's minus 2. There's minus 1. Okay? Let's uh, expand this out. So x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, so that could be x plus 3. So I'm going to complete the square. x plus 3 halves squared. Uh, take away 9 quarters plus 2. So x plus 3 halves squared. Um, that is 8 quarters. So we've got minus a quarter. And so the coordinates of this point are at minus 3 halves uh, minus a quarter. Okay. So they are, oh, or oh, best put in where it's crossing the y-axis, so that's at 2, okay? So what we have here is an example of y is equal to f of x, a function of x. In just this case, f of x is this x plus 1, x plus 2. And what I want to explore is what happens when we look at y is equal to 2 f of x to start off with. What happens when we put uh, two lots of f of x in? How does that change the equation? So what would happen here? What would change? I would have a 2 there, OK? So I've got two lots of f of x. How's that going to change things? Well, I could still say that it's going through minus 1, minus 2, because I still managed to factorise it into, that, uh, bra into those brackets. So we know that it's still going through minus 1 and minus 2. Now, when I expand the brackets, I would have two lots of this x squared plus 3x plus 2. So I would actually have 2x squared plus 6x plus plus 4. So I now know that the curve is going through 4 on the y-axis, not 2. So it's actually going through 4 now. OK. And on top of that, I can now f uh, complete the square again. So I'm going to have two lots of x squared plus 3x plus 4. So that's two lots of x plus 3 halves squared, take away 9 quarters, plus 4. So that's two lots of x plus 3 halves squared, uh, take away 9 halves, plus 4. So that's two lots of x plus 3 halves squared, um, which is 8 halves, so minus half. So this has a vertex at minus 3 halves, minus a half. So minus 3 halves, minus a half is actually down there. Okay? So now what we find is the curve must go through these four points. So the curve must look like this. Ooh. Didn't do that very well. So actually, what we find is that the curve has transformed in some way. In actual fact, it has been stretched. It's like this, the bottom of that curve has been pulled downwards. And subsequently, the top bits of these, this curve have also been pulled upwards. So a stretch, in this case, um, has pulled or part the curve from the x-axis. It pulls it in both directions. So this identifies a stretch 
Okay, so we call this a stretch, and the stretches that we look at either go in that direction or that direction. Okay, so this is parallel to the y axis. So that is what I would write down as part of the description. So it's a stretch parallel to the y axis. Okay, not quite sure if you hear that, but there's some crashing going on outside. Uh, I'm going to close the window. Okay. So, a stretch parallel to the y-axis, and what has happened is that all of the y-coordinates, so if we look at the y-coordinates of the points, so minus three halves, minus a quarter, the minus a quarter has doubled to minus a half, the y-coordinate here, uh, that was 0, 2, doubles to 0, 4. And the y-coordinates of here, well, because the y-coordinates of those point, two points are both 0, times those by 2, and you still get 0. So all of the y-coordinates double. And so we have a factor, so it's a stretch, parallel to the y-axis, factor 2 because all of the y-coordinates are multiplied by 2. And that is how we can look at this first type of stretch, this stretch that's parallel to the y-axis.